all centrifugal pumps have a minimum flow below which the operation becomes unstable because of internal recycling. If the centrifugal pump is required to operate below the required minimum flow, it is necessary to provide a recycle line to ensure that the pump flow is always above it. During the initial design, when no vendor information is available, the minimum continuous flow is assumed to be 30% of the design flow by the design team. Another point to note is that if the recycle line is connected back to the immediate suction of the pump, then there is a possibility that the fluid being pumped will get overheated. So, it is recommended that the recycle line is connected back to the tank. When is minimum recycle provided? A minimum flow bypass across the centrifugal pump is provided if the continuous flow forward flow is below the pump minimum flow at some operating point. It is also provided if the flow control valve can fail close. Further, in case of provision of pumps like Sundine pumps which operate at high speed, then minimum recycle is provided. The purpose of the minimum recycle is to protect the bearing and the seal life. It may also be considered for the radial thrust occurring at the pump or the increase in temperature of the pumping fluid at low flows. Further, sometimes manufacturers experience dictates the provision of the minimum recycle line. Here, here, the centrifugal pump performance curve is depicted and on it the relationship between the off-design pump phenomena and the reduction in pump flows is illustrated. You can see that here the rated point is the green colored section of the performance curve and as the pumping flow rate reduces, a number of problems could occur. Initially, there is an onset of suction or discharge recirculation which could lead to impeller cavitation and on further reduction of the flow there is a possibility of reduction in bearing and seal life. Further reduction would lead to high noise operation and uh, for increase in temperature of the pumping fluid. When is minimum recycle not required? Minimum recycle lines are not provided in services like tank to tank pump transfer or, or in loading situation where the flow is fixed and, and the operation of the pump is intermittent in nature. Further, it is also not provided in pump discharge systems which are manually controlled. Further, if the pump is located on a recirculation system wherein it takes suction from a tank and returns the discharge flow back to the same tank and it has, if it has a control wall that fails open, then a minimum recirculation line across that pump is not required. Now, there are three options normally provided for minimum flow recirculation line. The first one is the minimum flow with the restriction orifice. In this picture sketch here, we can see that a centrifugal pump, uh, a, a RO or the restriction orifice is depicted and the minimum recycle line is taken off upstream of the discharge check valve. So in this case, the, the, the pump design is based on the forward flow and the recirculation flow also. This kind of a design is done in small pumps where the power taken by the pump is on the lower side. Now the option two is the minimum recirculation line with the control valve on it. Here we can see that the minimum recirculation line takeoff is the, at the upstream of the check valve and there is a flow meter upstream of this recycle line 
which measures the drop in the forward flow and opens up the recirculation control valve to maintain the minimum recirculation flow. So this kind of design is provided for services where, where we want to maximize the forward flow. So this is given in such as a reaction feed flow where, which determines the production of the unit. So in this case, we do not want to have any recycle flow which may cause loss in production in a normal situation. Further, it is also need to be considered whether individual recycle lines need to be provided for the operating and the spare pumps. Such configuration is normally provided for Sundine pumps, LNG or high pressure boiler feed water pumps which are critical in nature. The third option is the auto recirculation valve. Now there are some situations where the minimum recirculation line with the control valve cannot be provided due to the plot plan constraints. In those kind of situations, an ARV or auto recirculation valve is provided right on the pump discharge of the pump and it opens up whenever the pressure pump discharge pressure changes. So as the flow, forward flow drops, the pump discharge pressure increases and at a certain point, the spring in the auto recirculation valve will open to maintain the recirculation flow. This ARV is very reliable in nature and very less maintenance is required. 